Hello, everybody. Hey, you know, it's me, Becky Cohen, your one star platinum entrepreneur, travel booker, mentor, trainer. And I am going to do just a quick little video on how to make a YouTube um, bookmark using Canva. So I'm going to go into my Canva. And if you don't have Canva, it is canva.com. You know what? Canva is awesome for all kinds of things. Obviously, I use Canva a lot. I use it as a team platform. I have um, an admin in here that does my daily schedule for my entire team. I use it for all kinds of different things. Anyways, that being said, um, you guys can search up right here in your templates. Of course, I use this because... Before I got started on YouTube, I was not putting these YouTube thumbnails over my videos, which, you know what, sometimes when the video starts and stops, you know, we have that ugly face and it's just like better to have, you know what, this YouTube thumb thumbnail on top of it. So when that video stops, it doesn't have my face in a distorted um, fashion, right? So here's how we do it. So you guys, um, once you're in canva.com, it's going to open up to the Canva dashboard. Of course, yours might be empty. Mine's kind of full, right? Um, obviously, I've used the thumbnail before. You're going to navigate to, you can go to your search bar and type in YouTube thumbnail, okay? So you can type in in the search bar right here, YouTube thumbnail, okay? I'm going to bring it up. I am going to just go to a blank one. And once we hit on blank one, it's going to open up into a, a separate tab to where we can create our own. You guys can search your templates for whatever that you're looking for. I always just like create my own. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to create my own. I might want to pick a color or I might want to pick a photo. You might have to find the photos through your apps or whatever else. I've got all of mine open here on this left-hand side, right? So if I'm like creating something specific, like if I'm creating something for weddings or um, just travel or whatever it might be, like if I'm creating a thumbnail, maybe for marketing or whatever, we're going to like, I'm going to find a photo in that um, area. So I'm just going to type in travel and see what it brings up in my photos. I'm going to come down here to the travel search and it's going to bring up all kinds of different photos inside of travel. So you can pick and choose. Obviously, I have the pro plan. You guys can start out on the free plan and you can see which ones are free. The pro is going to have this little pro with the, the crown on it. This is a free photo that you would be able to get on that free plan. There is quite a few of them in here. And you know you have a lot of options on that free plan. Here is a free one, why not, right? So if we wanted to use this one on that free plan as a YouTube thumbnail, this is all you would have to do. You can see now it doesn't fit the thumbnail size. All you guys have to do, and I'm on a Mac and I am on my laptop, so I am going to hit with two fingers on my pad and that is going to open up all of my options here. I'm gonna come down to the bottom where it says set image as background and I'm gonna click on that and now it sets the image as the background for my thumbnail. If I was like setting this for a specific video that I had, um, now I'm going to create the name on the video and if I think this is too brilliant or too bright of a picture, I can change that too. Uh, I can make it more transparent by coming up here across the top. Um, but it just depends on what you want to do with this, right? If we don't care, we don't care. Uh, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put my text on it. And these are just totally up to you. You guys can play around over here on this left-hand side in all these different uh, texts. Uh, I always come in here. This is our default text style. So if I open this up, now I'm going to have my options. You can hit on this little plus sign and you can move this little text box around, right? Um, it's going to offer me the, the chance to come in here to open up the sizing of it. I can pick the color, I can make it bold. I always like to make mine bold, because that's just me. 
You guys are a little different, right? These are your choices. You can come in and choose your font right here. You can pick whatever you want. Some of them aren't going to be a bold font. So that's why you want to go through your text um, scenarios on those options. All right. So that being said, you know, I just kind of like keep it, keep it um, kind of plain because you want people to, to read what it is in your YouTube, on your YouTube page, right? So you don't want it like to be so um, scripted that people can't read it. So I'm just going to leave it. Uh, Canvas Sounds is fine. If you wanted to change it, you can. And the only other one that I might change it to is something like this. I like Comic Sans is another good one that I always change it to. Just gives it a little more oomph, but whatever, right? Uh, I might make this a little bit bigger and then you guys can play around with that. And we're going to see if black works. We don't know what our, um, we're just going to make it say travel. Um, and of course, that's not quite big enough. Travel. Uh, and we're just going to say travel the world. Okay. And we're just going to go with that. Oops. Okay. Travel the world. We can make that bigger just by simply scrolling that up. And then we can place it. And as you can see, if we place it in the light um, and then space it, we can pretty much maybe get it to um, place in there. Click out of the box of it and move our box around. Travel the world. If you wanted to change the color of it, we're going to highlight that again. If you wanted a different color on that, I don't know if blue will stand out a little bit better. Maybe. Yeah. See, maybe our blue will stand out a little bit better. If you wanted to make it the color of um, whatever you've got going, if you wanted to put it on top of something, you can. It's just totally up to you. Sometimes Canva, you know, can get a little time consuming if you get a little into this, right? We don't want to like take up too much time, especially if this is just a thumbnail for a video, right? So we're not going to overthink this. Um, For me, I usually always put on my thumbnails, Um, obviously I have in my uploads and you guys will be able to figure this out. You're going to upload your um, whatever your picture and your logo. So I have my team logo or my business logo or whatever that you guys are going to be putting on here. I'm going to put my picture on there, right? And I'm going to make that. And I, I, I place them in the same place pretty much all the time. I'm going to put it over there. I'm not one that like puts it, smashes it up into the corner. That's just me. You guys are you, you guys do wherever you guys want it to be. I put my team on there because this is about my team. It is going to go on my team page. Um, and again, you guys are you, you do however you want to do it. Right. And again, I put it over here. This is me. This is how I do mine. Um, and then you may want to Tell people who you are, right? Tell people who you are. So you're going to come back in here to the text. I like this one. This is the Nikon that I like to use for when I'm titling myself. So again, it has that same color. Uh, I'm going to dial that down because I don't need to like smash myself out there really big. And you can say with who, with ever, who you want, with... Um, and if you want to tell them your rank or who you are, you can. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Um, I don't know if that. Sometimes I'll like space it down, make it come bigger. Sometimes I can't spell. So you guys got to bear with me. And of course, you see how it didn't like um space out in that box because sometimes you got to open the box you got to pull the box so it does make make it go into the box otherwise it won't pull into the box so there you go and of course i am going to make that smaller because i'm not all that big right mm -hmm. and the nikon you can see it won't let me go bold on the nikon font so um yep and again 
you know what? It's all right. I don't care if my name is showing there all that big or not. If they want to see me, it is going to go on my YouTube page. So they're going to find me there. And, you know, that's as simple as that is. Now to get this downloaded, you guys, all I'm going to do, it is already named so that I can find it in my downloads when we go. We're going to hit the share button. Okay. So um, I'm going to download this. I'm going to download it. Once it, it populates, it's going to download. You guys have choices on how to download this. Uh, best for sharing, it says here, but it's okay in a PNG. Sometimes I might hit the JPG. Uh, um, and it just depends on what you're utilizing, all right? If you have more than one page, I do suggest that you open up your, your download and because otherwise it'll be in a zip file. So just make sure that you're understanding all of that kind of stuff, okay? So once I download that, that's gonna go into my um, downloads and then it's ready to roll. So when I have the video to add that to into YouTube, now I can bring up my um, thumbnail to go on top of that. And that is how you create a thumbnail inside of uh, Canva for your YouTube videos. Yay. I hope this is helpful. It's really short and sweet. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching you guys. And of course, my uh, join my YouTube page. It is Away From Home Travels. Becky Cohen. Again, here I am. Have a wonderful day.